Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is SQL Complete Tutorial Series for Absolute Beginners. If you want to get into data science, data analytics, or even BI, or want to become a full stack developer, working knowledge with SQL and database management systems is a must. That's where I'm trying to create a playlist where you can learn and master SQL with me. This is the last episode where we'll be covering the overview or the concept series or the theory if you want because from next episode onwards we start coding but these are all important concepts please don't miss it because these small small concepts will only help you learn and master SQL. That being said today we are going to learn about SQL DML and DDL this is part 6 of the series before we get started please do hit that like button comment and share buttons for me to keep encouraging and supporting me if you need any tech support or training for your job write to me at surya.arad at gmail.com this is part 6 of the series so far we are just covering all the basic things that we need to learn and master SQL very very important first six episodes this will set the foundation and the fundamentals for you this is part 6 today we are learning about DML and DDL. SQL as we know stands for Structured Query Language which internally again contains two types of languages within it. The first one is DDL. DDL stands for Data Definition Language and not the DDLG that I'm sure most of you know. right? Pardon my uh, Hindi. But yeah, DDL stands for Data Definition Language and DML stands for data manipulation language going by the English meaning of these words right data definition language which means it will help us create the schema or the structure of our database and the tables that means what data to be captured or stored data manipulation language means you are manipulating the data that means you are editing you are updating you're altering right so sorry not alter but you're updating you're deleting you're selecting so those are all DML that means you're manipulating the data but you when you create the schema when you create the structure when you create the architecture of your database or tables that becomes your TDL so what are the common commands that we saw and how do you relate it like I said DDL stands for data definition language which will focus on the definition and modification of database structures and schema when I say database structures we mean by tables indexes and schema what is the purpose like I mentioned it is used to define and modify the structure of database objects mostly tables and indexes the common commands that we saw in the previous episode you can relate to it we saw the create command which is used to create new tables indexes and databases we saw the alter command alter command is used for modifying the structure of an existing database object that is adding or deleting new columns to a table drop is deleting tables or other database objects completely remember we are not talking about de deleting a record we are talking about deleting entire table that's where drop comes into picture truncate will remove all the rows from a table but it will keep the structure for future use that means it will just empty the table but it will still retain the structure of the table common like I told you common commands create alter drop and truncate these are the commonly four used DDL commands DDL stands for data definition language okay remember the impact the impact is on the database schema and the structure so very very um, dangerous I would say if you are doing it in prod um, make sure that you with these four commands you use very very carefully especially in critical environments like QA UAT or prod DML DML stands for data manipulation language which means where you're focusing on manipulating and querying the data you're not changing you're not modifying you're not altering you're not creating any structure or schema you're just playing with the data in the table okay 
so some of the common commands are you will run select statement which is used to retrieve the data from one or more tables insert again you are trying to insert new records into a table not the structure right remember a lot of times people get confused between create and insert because create is part of ddl because it will create a structure or a table or an index whereas insert will only insert add records to the table update command it's used for updating existing data in a table delete removes records from table okay now if you look at all these commands by now you know that they sound very very uh, familiar just like English language so SQL is extremely easy extremely simple because these are all predefined set of statements and keywords that are used to perform all we need to do is write the logic with them okay so once again go through the common commands that I have covered starting next episode we start coding starting with the first SQL statement or the first SQL command which is SQL select statement alright let's start coding I hope you're enjoying the series and you're learning please do let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section also please do like share and subscribe to my channel to keep supporting me thank you so much for joining I'll see you in the next part